What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and G4 TV continues to provide content. Not for the people that they should be providing content for, not for their subscribers, but no, for people like us who have been sitting, watching, and waiting as they have continued to self-destruct. And everyone is asking the question at this point, two months after Frost's rant against sexism in gaming, saying that women don't exist to be easy on the eyes for you, saying that if you think a woman might be attractive in some way? Well, that's just weird. And of course, G4 TV backed her up. As a result, they lost thousands of subscribers. And now everyone's tuned in to see what Frost has to say. How is she going to react to what G4 is now doing? Of course, we've talked about it. Amaranth in a bikini in a ball pit as just part, just a small portion of this stream that they did that doesn't seem like Frost would be all too into it. It seems to me and to everyone else like this is exactly what Frost was saying was wrong. This is what G4 was saying was wrong two months ago until they realized that they needed to change something. This is the only thing that Frost has said in the past, you know, 24, 48 hours that people can really point to and be like, huh, I wonder what she's talking about. Today is a day that I verbally shove my foot up someone's verbal ass. No context, just a, a very vague tweet. And of course, if you scroll through the replies, you could see everyone saying, how is that going to be possible? You've already shoved your foot in your mouth over and over again. Why don't you start with G4, which we're going to go over. We're going to go over all of this. Yes, the shake weight, because again, G4, two months after the fact, has turned into the very thing that they shamed people for. How dare you want to see a woman? How dare you objectify someone? Well, now that's exactly what's happening. After Frost accuses viewers of objectifying women, G4 hosts Amaranth for Bikini Ball Pit segment. And I didn't even realize realize some of this obviously I've talked about it a lot it's so much more than just her in a bikini in a ball pit we're gonna go over a couple different clips here including her licking raw hot dogs uh the shake weight segment licking lube and then we're gonna go over how they treated Minx the other co-host just a Minx which we will go over that as well. But let's start here. In one of the most blatant 180s on a virtue signal in recent years, just a little under two months after promoting X-Play host Indiana Frost Black's on-air rant against sexism in gaming, in which she accused audiences of disliking her because they didn't find her as nice on the eyes as previous network personalities, G4 hosted notorious borderline NSFW Twitch streamer Amaranth for a segment centered around her sex appeal. And since since that time, again, we talked about it before, they have now completely given up on their channels. They took what was the G4 channel, turned it into the X-Play channel, and this channel used to be X-Play. Now, it's G4 TV. They have renamed and rebranded. And if you go to X-Play, they've lost another thousand subscribers just in the past day. This channel is dying. This channel is bleeding. They've destroyed their algorithm. That's why they're trying to do something, anything to get people's attention. And that includes this. Now, we talked about the ball pit. Let's play a little bit of the ball pit in case you guys missed it. During the pandemic, the price of balls skyrocketed. That's the right. street value. Wow. It's because there was none out there walking around. I've been in a thousand years, so I wouldn't know the price <laughs> yeah. of balls. That's right. Oh, God. That's right. Well, let me... Let me tell you, I've subscribed to many, you know. Oh yeah, mm. blue balls have made me a millionaire. So. That's right. <laughs> and then Blue balls have made me a millionaire, and of course, we showed we've showed several times the uh, the reveal of Amaranth when she pops out. YouTube surprisingly does not like it when I show these clips. They try to demonetize me when I show these clips. Yet this is what G4 is putting out there. You guys have seen all of this before. What you may have not seen uh, was this segment. A little bit of a hot dog action here. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Wow! Yeah. Iron Mouse, congratulations! And the entire time you have, uh, you know, Minx in the background who is pretending to like be jealous about this, then she starts dressing in more scantily clad things, trying to up her sex appeal. Very ironic for this network, which I have nothing wrong with this. I think the skit's kind of dumb. I wouldn't watch this normally, but they can do whatever they want. Have Amaranth in a bikini. I don't care. Like, if that gets viewers, that gets viewers. Well, we, we understand that. We all know that. The problem is, this is a company that has virtue signaled the complete opposite way. Shamed you if you would have wanted to watch something like this. Now they're turning around and they're putting it on their network. Uh, we talked about the shake weight. Look at this. I don't know. <laughs> and let me tell you something, Look at baby. Amaranth. You've done so well so far. 
And unfortunately, that streak is literally opening her mouth while she's putting a shake weight in her face. Uh, what else do we have? We have her licking lube. How about this? Uh, if I'm you know, going to be consuming ass, do I want it in my mouth? Let me know. It's like butterscotch almost a little bit. Butterscotch? A little butterscotch. You want to take a sip? No. So classy for G4. And then, of course, Minx is back here, right? Dressing in more scantily clad things. Now we go to this. And I have to thank Lyndon. I have to thank Lyndon for this. This is incredible. This is amazing. Quality content from G4. Frostgren would be proud of how well they're treating women. I, I fully think that this is actually scripted and planned, j just so you guys know. Um, and we're going to go over why I think that. But let's watch this. Iron Mouse, 30 pounds! <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Ham. They're throwing meat at the women's faces. Slap them in the face with meat. Oh my God. Look at the aftermath. <laughs> Jeez. And the reason, I'll say, the reason that I think that this was entirely planned is because she took off her sunglasses for this set. I think that this was what they were supposed to do the entire time. Whether it's supposed to hit her that hard or not, I don't know. And, you know, they play it up afterwards. Oh, no. You know, after she gets hit like, like that. Oh, life. my God. Thanks. Thanks. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, no. Right, then she like walks around, is about to throw it at him. They play the whole thing up, right? That's why I think they intend to do this. So they plan on smacking her in the face with meat on G4. And then, you know, finally, just as another way to degrade her at the end, I suppose they do this. Nanners. Huh? Minx, please, you've been eliminated from the. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Minx, you've been eliminated. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> Get off the Bring set. her back on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she smells like ham and lube. <laughs> she smells like ham and lube. This is what G4 has now come to. This is what they're so desperate for. Everything that they said that they were about, they flipped it on their heads. It's not going to help, though. It's too late because you let people like Frost, you let these people tell their audience to go fuck themselves. Say, if you don't agree with this, then get out of here. Blair Herder, we saw the same thing. Uh, down the rank and file of G4, they all stood behind what she said and said, if you criticize Frost, it's because you're sexist and we don't want you watching. And then next thing you know, like, this is what they have going on at G4 TV. They're trying to maybe recapture some of the G4 of old, but it doesn't seem authentic. It doesn't seem real. It seems desperate, and everyone can see right through it. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. And I want to specifically hear, do you think, do you think that the meat slap was planned. I think it was completely planned and completely intentional, which even makes it worse uh, if you're looking at it from that perspective. I want to know what you guys think. Shout out to Lyndon again for clipping this because that is absolute perfection. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. I'll talk to you guys later.